In this video lesson, I'm going to show you one more way and method of dipping. It is used much less often than the standard method because the candle's halves are dipped into different colors on some layers. Later on, they will show up during the carving process. You can use this method more or less heavily than we do. It's up to you and depending on which candles you want to get as the result. We will place these colors inside and the outer surface will stay monochromatic. Pay attention that no matter when, where or how many half layers you make, you still need to have layers that cover the candle fully and build up them. We will start with such one full layer. It will be the first one, in fact. It is white and uh, it also serves the purpose of warming the candle up during 30 seconds. Put it out, then put into water and wipe. For now, we follow all standard rules. Let's make three white full layers in the beginning. And then start adding halves. To ensure that you get an interesting, bold and bright result and that you don't put efforts in vain, you better choose some contrasting but still matching colors. Such dipping method is uh, often used for wedding or candles for other occasions, for example swan or hot patterns. For now, we need to understand the process. So, place the candle horizontally and make sure one edge looks directly up. This way, when you dip, three edges will be of one color and three of another. Hold the hook in your palm and the candle with your fingers on both sides. It's not very convenient, but the result is worth it. It will be quite interesting. We're going to take red and purple combination of colors. Don't forget to stir the paraffin before dipping the candle into it. Dip the candle at a half and then put it up vertically. It shouldn't stay horizontally when the paraffin is dripping off, otherwise bumps and icicles will appear on the edge. So pay very careful attention to that. We don't need that effect, so we hold the candle vertically. Then we put it into water to fix this half layer and we wipe it. Repeat twice more. The border is exactly in the middle between the edges. It's better if the color covers a bit less than more and that it doesn't cover the next edge. and the third layer. Mm -hmm. 
the right half is ready. Now, before we move on to full layers, we will make the other half purple. the next second layer clean and wipe everything off and the last third purple layer Now clean everything. And make 10 full white layers again. As a rule, very simple color schemes are used for such candles because the main thing is to accentuate the difference between two halves. Don't forget about the number of layers when you invent new color schemes by yourself. The white color should cover the previous ones completely and this is why we add a lot of it. See that the water doesn't stay on top. Technically, you can already start carving the candle at this stage, but if you want the halves to be different on the surface as well, then use the same method. Doing this, you have to be very neat and precise with your actions so that the border is very even. It wouldn't be visible inside because we work with the edges. But here on the surface, the line has to be really straight. This candle is ready and we can start carving it.